We thank God for uh, this place, uh, this secret place uh, that God has established this morning. I want to say blessings to Apostle Ingrid. Good to see you on this morning. And so we thank you for uh, the prayers this morning. We thank you this morning for the petition. We thank you for this day. Why? Because this is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Wherever you are, however you're beginning your morning and your day, uh, we just speak this morning God's blessings, God's favor, God's peace, God's safety, God's anointing. We thank you, Father, for the prayers that are availing and prevailing much over your pen, sharper than any two-edged sword. So this morning, as we pray, we collectively come together. We pray this morning, believing, standing, and agreeing. Father, for where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. So, Father, we, we speak that today, that there is a release. Father, as we appeal to heaven this morning, we appeal for your glory. We appeal for your, we appeal for your power. We appeal for your anointing that destroys every yoke of the devourer. Lord, we thank you this morning that principalities, rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in higher places are bound by the blood of Jesus. Lord, every high, everything that lifts itself up up above the will of God. Lord, we thank you that every demonic measure, Lord God, is nullified, is canceled, is severed in the spirit in Jesus' name. God, we thank you that the blood of Jesus prevails in cities, in regions, in nations, in homes, in houses. God, I thank you today, Lord God, that this is a magnificent Monday. We declare signs, wonders, and miracles will follow your people. Father, I pray, Lord God, from Georgia to Ghana, Lord, from Miami to Massachusetts, Lord God, from Louisiana to LA. God, I thank you this morning that, Lord, you're moving, you're shifting, and God, you're stirring this day. We thank you for Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place, in this room, in this, on this platform, from Facebook to YouTube to websites. Lord, we thank you, Father, for the virtual anointing where there are no limitations. But Father, we thank you for a holy habitation today. Lord God, to release, to increase, to multiply, to be fruitful. We declare that the fruit of this day will bring forth, Father God, your glory. Father, we thank you today for life today. We thank you today for power today, power to overcome the wiles of the devil. Father, this morning, Lord, we thank you for the anointing to run through troops and leap over walls. We declare quantum leaps in every region, in every house, in every business, God, that, Lord God, we will go exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ask or think. So, Father, even as we pray this morning, even as we think this morning, Lord, Lord, we bring our minds subject to the will of God. Lord, we thank you this morning. Let this will be in you, which was in Christ Jesus. Father, we thank you for the will to prosper. We thank you for the will to overcome. We thank you for the will to defeat every foe in Jesus' name. God, I thank you today that you are a healer. You are a deliverer. And so, Father, you are the God of the breakthrough. You are Yahweh. You are Elohim, El Shaddai, El Elyon. You are, Father God, Lord God, the Most High God. You are Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Tiskanu, Jehovah Shalom. So, Father, we pray today that your peace that surpasses all understanding, Lord God, will come against, Lord God, the darkness, the forces of darkness. We declare that the gates of hell should not prevail. Lord God, we declare today that, Lord, every form of affliction and addiction is bound in Jesus name. And we loose the, the miracles, the power, the anointing of Jesus Christ in Jesus name. We thank you for fervent prayers. We thank you for fiery prayers. We thank you for faith filled prayers. Lord, as we pray, Lord God, we ascend into realms of faith. Lord God, where we can pull down. Every vain imagination, Father, and we thank you that the enemy is defeated. He is under our feet. Lord, we tread over scorpions and serpents today. Lord, we walk and we take territories. We take regions. We take atmospheres and hemispheres and latitudes and longitudes. Lord, as we pray this morning. Lord, I thank you that nothing will separate us from the love of God. Lord, we declare today your love. Lord God, your love upon us, your love with us, your love around us. Father, we pray today, Lord God, that you will teach us, train us, equip us how to love each other and love you. Lord God, even Lord God, in this hour, Father, we pray right now for those 
that are traveling, those that are moving, Lord God, those, Lord God, that are even driving in their car today, Lord, be with them. We pray, Father God, as they go down highways and byways, Lord, we thank you for your safety. Lord, we pray right now, Father God, for the blood of Jesus. We pray right now for the glory of God to be encamped around us. We thank you right now that there are ministering angels assigned to us, Father God, from the kingdom, from the throne room. And so, Father, as we come this morning, we agree with the angels that you are holy. Father, we pray right now, Father God, that you would Forgive us of our sins, of our iniquities. Lord, we repent of every iniquity. And Lord God, in everything that we've said and done, Lord God, that is contrary to you, Holy Spirit, wash us, purge us. Lord God, I thank you, Father God, for working on the inside. Lord God, that earthen vessel. God, I thank you that you're working on the inside. Lord God, and you're stirring the treasure. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you for the treasure that you've put inside of us. So, Father, we call forth. Lord God, that anointing, that power. Lord, we thank you for gifts that are laying dormant today. Lord, we call forth those gifts and those anointing to persevere, to press, to make things happen. Lord God, to speak those things into existence as though they were. So, Father, I pray right now for men this morning. I lift up my brothers this morning. I lift up the soldiers today. God, we thank you for lifting up their arms, and we thank you, Father, for strengthening them today. Lord, we pray over sons, uncles, husbands, fathers. Lord, we pray this morning over the men in our lives. God, I pray for my son. I pray for my grandsons. Lord, I pray for my father, my brothers. I pray, Father God, for my nephews. God, I just lift up the brothers that pray with us, the brothers that stay with us, the brothers that encourage us in Jesus name. So father, I pray for every man today. Lord, I pray for our sisters today. Lord God, I pray for the women's, the queen. Lord, I got to lift, uh, lift up those that have an assignment to preach and teach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Lord, those that have an assignment, Father, to stand in the gap. Lord, we thank you, Father God, for intercessors. Lord God, to do what only you can do. And so, Father, we pray, Lord God, for the women this morning. Lord, we lift up Trinity this morning. Trinity, Lord, I thank you this morning that you are with her. Lord, we pray for Ayana. Lord God, we lift up every woman today. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we pray for Carol Williams. We pray for those, Lord God, that are believing today in Jesus' name for your power and for your presence. We pray for Miss Marie Rose. Lord, I thank you. I lift up Zona this day. Lord God, I lift up her mother. I pray, Lord God, that Lord, you are her healer. I pray that you are her strength. And I thank you, Father, that you are with her in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God, I thank you today. Lord, that you're with Anitra. God, I thank you today. Lord God, that you are the God who answers prayers. So, Father, we pray this morning. God, I thank you today for life and life more abundantly. I thank you today for your strength. God, I thank you today for your presence in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, Isaiah 61 Hallelujah. Isaiah 61. It says we, we like Isaiah 61 verse one, uh, but I want to read Isaiah 61 verse 10. It says, I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my God. He has clothed me with the garments of salvation. What are you putting on this morning? He has covered me with the robe of righteousness. Come on, prophesy today. I'm um, who is it that's walking around their house? Not with a ah bashantarabasutu. Not with a um whatever his name is, whatever the uh not with a Gucci robe, not with a but what a robe of righteousness. Not with a Versace robe. Come on. How about Nidibu Shanta? Not with a Versace robe, but a robe of righteousness. Who is it that's walking today with a robe of right? Father, we put on the robe of righteousness today. Father, I thank you. He said, as, as a bridegroom decks himself with ornaments and as a bride adorns herself with jewels. Great morning to you, Christine Bremner. We pray this morning in the name of Jesus that first you will greatly rejoice in the Lord. Not just rejoice, but greatly rejoice. What is greatly rejoicing? 
Come on, this is a prayer. Holy Spirit, teach us how to greatly rejoice. In other words, you rejoicing is above every circumstance and situation in your life. When you greatly rejoice, you say it's the greatest thing that can happen in my life. So, Father, we pray this morning, Lord God, that we will greatly rejoice in our focus, in our prayer, in our language, in our mindset, in our thought. Hallelujah. God, we greatly rejoice today in who you are as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. We greatly rejoice in the salvation of our loved ones. We greatly rejoice this morning in the power of prayer. God, I thank you this morning. As we greatly rejoice this morning, we greatly rejoice for the benefit that you've given us. It says, my soul shall be joyful in my God. Come on, make it personal this morning. Prophesy to your soul. I don't need chicken soup. I need the word of God. I need a prophetic word. There's a prophetic word over your life. May it this morning uh, uh, bring joyfulness to your soul in Jesus name. God, I thank you, Father, that I will rejoice. How about it? I will rejoice in my home. I will rejoice in my family. I will rejoice in my life. Come on. You may be we weeping may endure for a night. How about But joy comes in the morning. So we prophesy to your joy. We prophesy, Lord God, that every depression, every diabolical plan of depression is bound and nullified in the name of Jesus. And we send it back to the abyss in the name of Jesus. And we pray this morning by the power, by the authority, by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, that we will be joyful. Come on, I prophesy to your soul this morning. I prophesy to your spirit this morning that it will rejoice and that it will be joyful. Come on, I'm excited this morning. I feel like praying. You know why? Because when you appeal to heaven, there are always heavenly results. When you appeal to man, you're going to always get carnal results. But when you appeal to heaven, only heaven can move. How about shete your mountains? Only heaven can open your Red Sea. Only heaven this morning can heal your body from sickness, disease, cancers, and everything that the enemy sends against you. Only heaven hears haba, and responds haba, shedi, bo, santa, in the name of Jesus to how you rejoice. See, the prophetic thing about this this morning is when you praise him on credit, when you rejoice him on credit, come on this morning, when you when you are joyful, no matter what your account looks like, no matter if you love your job or not, no matter how you feel this morning, come on, we cancel the feelings of this day and we walk in the spirit and not fulfill the lust of the flesh. We die. We carry the cross today. When you take up your cross, you rejoice in all things. When you take up your cross, your soul is all always joyful when your soul is joyful it cries out and when you think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me whoa my soul cries out whoa my soul cries out who is this for this morning I pray that your soul will rejoice. Come on, my brother. This is not the end. This is the beginning. My sister, God is doing a new thing in your life. We're going to end this week. We're going to end this month strong, rejoicing and celebrating. Praise him on credit for your breakthrough. Praise him on credit for your promotion. Praise him on credit for salvation of your loved ones. Praise him on praise him in advance. Come on, celebrate him. Come on, you be, you can you can attract miracles in your life by your rejoicing. You can attract miracles in your life. Come on. When you know who Jesus is, you say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy upon me. What is that? That's your soul crying out this morning. I don't know where you are, what city you're in, however you're dealing with your day today. But in Jesus name, we will rejoice and be joyful in our soul. Come on, just speak to it. Prophesy, say it. If you're in your house, just shout hallelujah. I know my wife is asleep. I know my family is trying to get it in but in Jesus name I know that there's nothing like the voice of triumph I know there's nothing like the shout of a hallelujah why because hallelujah is the highest praise hallelujah hallelujah happy birthday John we thank you this morning in Jesus name John DeRosa, we pray this morning, Father, that as we celebrate this day, we celebrate life. Happy birthday to you. Uh um 
Susan, blessings to everybody as you you come. We celebrate this day like a graduation moment. Come on, every day is a graduation moment. If you may you may be celebrating your son or your daughter, or you may be accomplishing the goal. Let me say this to today. If you would celebrate like a graduation moment every day, you would be what the Bible calls more than a conqueror. So I pray this morning with you and agree, agree with you that you will conquer this day. You will conquer debt. You will conquer every attack of the enemy. You will conquer the negativity in your mind. In the name of Jesus, what we're doing, we're building your faith so that you can believe all things are possible to him and her who believes. I believe this morning. Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, The Lord is good and his mercy endures forever. In the name of Jesus, great morning to you, Shantae, great morning to you, Cynthia Bella, great morning to all of those that are tuning in with us. We're praying today and we're praying for you. We're praying for your house. We're praying for your children. We're praying for this. It's a magnificent morning. And we're greatly honored that God have allowed us and chosen us to live in this day. We prophesy that you will live and not die, but declare the works of the Lord. We prophesy life and life more abundantly. We prophesy that the blessing of God will overtake you and run you down in this season that you won't have room enough to receive. We pray right now over Janice. We pray right now over baby London. We pray right now over all of those fathers that are in the hospital believing for healing. God, we thank you for being Shana's healing. We thank you, Father God, for being a deliverer. In Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Father God, that your anointing destroys every yoke of bondage, of sickness, of disease, every dis-ease in our life, every mindset of the enemy. Father, we thank you that the only option is to live and live life more abundantly today. So we pray that over you today. We pray that for your day. As we begin, we orchestrate this day. We pray right now for Elvin as he takes another. God, we thank you for the series of tests that he is passing and advancing. We pray in advance, Father, that you have already given him peace. You have already given him knowledge. You've already given him wisdom. And we pray right now, Father, that as our brother prepares and to plan, Lord, we pray for his destiny as a sheriff. We pray this morning in the name of Jesus, Lord God, for advanced safety. Lord, we thank you this morning in the name of Jesus for your power to cover, the power to save, the power to deliver. Lord, we thank you for the discernment. Lord, I thank you that you will give Elgin discernment this morning. We pray uh, for Jennifer this morning. We pray this morning for every person in the name of Jesus that is coming in agreement today with us in Jesus name. So as you're watching, let me say this. The Lord has you on his mind. He has purpose and destiny for your life today. And let me just speak it today that you would go forth today in the power of his might, in the power of his resurrection, that resurrection power will lead you, guide you, keep you, sustain you. I pray in Jesus name. What was yesterday is gone today. May the power of Holy Spirit, order your steps for the steps of a good man and woman are ordered by the Lord. So we thank you, Father God, for synchronizing our steps today with heaven. We thank you this morning for heaven's vault that we have access to, to access the gifts of the spirit, the anointing, the power, the benefits today. Lord, we pray this morning in Jesus name, Lord God, that as you stand today, Lord God, that you would open the gates. Hallelujah. Somebody say open the gates. Let me, can I pray one more scripture this morning? I feel that in Jesus name. Great morning to Revelation moment. If you are watching this morning, I see you, Miss Deborah. If you are watching this morning in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. If you are tuning in, I pray for God's presence in his spirit. Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. That what you are doing, you are doing a new thing today in somebody's life. Father, we pray right now for strength. We pray right now for peace. Lord, you are Yahweh and you are the great I am. And so we declare that over your people today, Lord God, that you reign. We declare in Jesus name that his that Jesus reigns in your life. And so, Father, every every I thank you. Let me, thank you, Holy Spirit. Can I read this this morning? Hallelujah. <laughs> We greet you this morning. We welcome you this morning. Invest this broadcast in somebody's life. I want you to, I want you, I want to pray this over you today um, because the Lord is good. And if you're on your way to work, be safe, be blessed, be protective in Jesus name. 
Hallelujah. Uh-huh. I want to read it. I want to read it. I don't want to say it. Um, hallelujah. Great morning. Great morning, everybody. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Here it is. All right. Matthew 5, 5. I want to speak this over you and pray this because this is the word. Matthew, these are the Beatitudes, right? I want to read this over you today. Matthew 5, starting at verse 3. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. This is how we establish blessings in the day. Because this, the Beatitudes cover every level of blessings. I don't have time to break this down this morning. But verse 4. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Father, I thank you this morning for comfort for those who have mourned. Father, blessed are the meek. That's what I want to say. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. God, we thank you for the inheritance that you've given us. Lord, we pray for a spirit of meekness. We pray, Father God, for a posture of meekness. God, we humble ourselves under your word in Jesus' name. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. That's the evidence of Holy Spirit. So, Father, we come this morning and we pray for righteousness. Lord, we thank you for the blessing of those who hunger this morning for righteousness. Father, make us hungry for your spirit. Make us thirsty for your spirit in Jesus name. Lord, we thank you for the filling of Holy Spirit this morning. Fill every void in our life. Fill every place that is empty in our life. Fill, Father God, those places that need to be healed, but filled with your glory, with your power. Verse 7 says, blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. God, we thank you for mercy this morning. We thank you, Father, for mercy that you have given us access for. These are the benefits that he's loading you up with today. He's loading you up with mercy. You can can never have enough mercy. You can never run out of mercy. And so this morning in Jesus name, we pray right now in the name of Jesus, according to the word, it says, blessed verse eight. Here it is. Blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God. <laughs> blessing father give us a pure heart purify our hearts remove the heart of stone give us a heart of flesh purify our thoughts this morning father we want to see you we want to see you in this day we want to see you in our family we want to see you in our bodies we want to see you in our mind we want to see the manifestation of the kingdom we pray it right now lord god that you would open the heavens that we will see you today let us see you in the small things let us see you in the great things let us see you father god as we go and as we come we thank you for the revelation today. Hallelujah. The blessings of revelation. Lord, we pray this morning. Verse 9. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. Lord, we thank you for an inheritance today. We thank you, Father God, that the, as the earth is groaning for the manifestations of the sons of God, Lord, we met... <laughs> People talk about they manifest, but God, we manifest sonship today. Lord, I thank you that you have called us your own. You made us in your image. And Lord, we manifest your presence, your glory, your anointing and your power. Lord, we're not going to manifest things. We're not going to manifest the demonic. We're not going to manifest, Father God, those things that are not of this, Lord God, that are not of the, the spirit realm. But Father God, those that are carnal, we will not manifest anger. We will not manifest the, the fruit of bitterness, of anger anger of wrath lord god we will manifest holy spirit in your life holy spirit we thank you this morning in jesus name it says blessed are the pure in heart thank you for the pure heart this morning father i pray that you will purify our heart from everything that is not of you thank you for cleansing sanctifying purifying thank you for extracting in jesus name god i thank you this morning in the name of jesus it says blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake for theirs is the kingdom of heaven God, we thank you for the kingdom this morning. I pray, Father God, for the keys that you've given us to unlock every door, every gate. God, we thank you for the key of prayer. We thank you for the key of faith. We thank you for the key of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, the key of discernment. We thank you this morning for the key of supernatural power to bind the devil. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Father, I pray this morning that as we pray for your people, Lord, every prayer request, as they scroll, as they roll, God, I thank you that your prayers are penetrating the lives of your people. Father, these prayers will bring evidence, bring results. Lord, we thank you that there are no setbacks. There are no dilemmas. There are no detours in this day. Lord, I pray right now, Father, that as faith, Lord God, as your people here, they hear by faith and by faith only. Lord, we build our faith this morning. We build our faith with heavenly language. We build our faith, Father, believing and standing on your word. We build our faith in agreement. Father, when we agree this morning in the spirit of prayer, in the power of prayer, Father, I thank you that there is nothing too hard. He bowed out about in Jesus name. I want to welcome you into this morning. We pray right now, Father God, that wherever your people are, Lord, we just, we just release Father God, the blessings of God upon their lives upon their homes, upon their families, upon this school, upon, upon this school year that is concluding. Lord, we pray for teachers today. We pray for Georgia Preparatory. We pray for, Lord God, the staff. We pray for students in private schools. We pray for those in public schools, administrators, educators, social, uh, social workers, those that are involved in every, uh, every, uh, realm of the school system. Lord, we lift up school boards. We lift up directors. We lift up regional directors. We pray this morning in Jesus name for you and your city. Hallelujah. I pray for your house today that your house will be blessed by the beatitudes of God, that the blessing that will be upon you, no man can cancel it. No man can limit it. And we declare that the fire of God will burn in you, that there will be a, there will be a, a contagious manifestation of God's power in your life, that there will be nothing lacking, nothing missing and nothing broken in this day and in this hour. Hallelujah. Let me share something with you if I can. I don't, I don't even I'm a shift this morning. I'm not going to share a graphic. But we thank you this morning as you travel, Sophie, we Sophia, we pray that God will be with you. All of those that are traveling, if you haven't traveled that much since the pandemic, if you're traveling, we know that this is a this is a different Memorial Day. So I want to pray that as we go into uh, this week of Memorial Day, we want to pray that God will cover you and that he will protect you, that the hand of God will be upon you in a mighty way, that his hand uh, to cover you from sickness and disease. We pray that you would have wisdom. Listen, be wise. Don't walk in fear. Don't walk in intimidation. God is not giving you a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, love and a sound mind. So we speak that over you today. If you are just joining us. I want to just declare this over you today. If you're watching right now, wherever you are, we pray that God will cover you and protect you. He will cover you with the blood. He will cover you with his hand and that he will begin to guide you in righteousness and in truth. In the name of Jesus, we pray right now. Hallelujah. That he goes before you, that he covers you as you turn to the left, as you turn to the right, as you look ahead. Don't look back in Jesus name. We pray this morning that you would walk and step into a new place. In Jesus name, I pray this morning for Mary. I lift her up in Jesus name. I thank you, Father, that you are with her. And I pray, Lord, as we send this prayer around her, God, let your will be done in her life today. In Jesus name. Lord, I pray this morning for every person that is tuning in, every person that is listening. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus name. We lift up Renee Rivers this morning. God, I thank you. Lord, we pray right now for accelerated, uh, speedily recovery for Renee this morning. I pray this good morning to you, Brandon. I pray this morning in Jesus name for those that have a, a, a great assignment. There's an assignment on your life. You have a great purpose and you have a great mission. We pray this morning that you would know that you are not alone. God, if God be for you, who can be against you? And so we pray that that weight, that burden that you cast it upon the Lord. He said, for my burden is light. And so we declare that God will begin to lighten your load in Jesus name. But that what he has prepared you for, what he has processed you for. May you fulfill your destiny and your assignment. 
We declare that you would not give up, but that you would walk in the in the power in the name of Jesus, that you would walk in the authority in the name of Jesus, that you will see it. Lord, I pray over every uh, every family today, every marriage today. Lord, we pray for those that will marry in 2021. Lord, we thank you, Father God, that you are covering marriages. Lord God, I thank you, Father, that you are covering families. Lord, I pray for those uh, in the name of Jesus that the enemy has tried to come against. Lord, what you have put together, let no man put asunder. Lord God, we come against the spirit of divorce. We come against every lie from the pit of hell in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray this morning uh, for, for Willie Loman this morning as he travels. We lift up Willie. Lord, we send this prayer over Willie today. God, I thank you that you are with Willie. And in Jesus' name, you are covering him by the blood and by the power of Almighty God. Hallelujah. Let me share something with you. Uh, great morning to you, family. Thank you so much for joining us. It is a privilege and an honor uh, for you to tune in and listen wherever you are. Do me a favor. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Give me a thumbs up. Be a super subscriber. Let's bring a rhythm to the algorithm. Uh, and it is the rhythm of the Holy Spirit. And so we thank you this morning. Uh, for joining in. If you are watching and you're tuning in wherever you are, uh, know this. If God be for you, who can be against you? This too shall pass. Whatever you're going through, I don't know who who just need to hear that word, but you know the word when it is for you. I want you to catch this, stand on it, believe it. This too shall pass. You are just in a window. You're in a corridor of a moment in time and you are at the edge of your breakthrough. I declare in Jesus name, as you cross the threshold of this month, that as you go into June, that God will begin to show himself in the next seven days that he is finishing a work in your life. Some of you don't even realize what God began as of January 1st. He said, this is the hour that you will cross over in, not to a halfway, but to a finish way. He said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man comes to the father, but by me, You've been going to the father. You've been believing. You've been praying. You've been standing. But I want to tell you this. This too shall pass in your life. This is just the light affliction. You're being processed for something greater. And I call forth the greater out of your life. I call forth the power. Terrence Booker. I call forth the anointing that you will stand. And after you're done. Huh? E Let me go to Ephesians this morning. Hallelujah. Can we pray this this morning? Hallelujah. This is somebody's word today. Who is this for? Whoever this is for, I want you to stand on this word in Jesus name. Are you with me today? I want you to stand on this word. If you are willing to stand on the word of God, just say, I just, just put, just say, I believe the word of God. When you believe the word of God, there is nothing that's too hard. Watch this. I want you to look at this. Uh, um, Philippians, I said Ephesians, Philippians, Philippians 1 19, Philippians 1 19, chapter 1, verse 19. For I know that this will turn out. Somebody say it's about to turn out for my deliverance through your prayer and supply of the spirit of Jesus Christ. Oh, my gosh. This is a good somebody say there's a turnout and a supply that's going to bring me across this thing in Jesus name. There is somebody you've been weeping, you've been mourning, you've been. But I'm going to tell you this. This is your daytime. Somebody need to say, I know this going to turn out for my good. Prophesy it over your wallet. See, every day. Right. This is one thing we do. We prophesy over the over the bifold, over the wallet, over the accounts of God. Prophesy it over your house or speak that word that I know know that this thing that I'm going through, who is this for? Will turn out. How about they did Bushantan? Somebody say, turn it out, God. Turn that thing inside out. Turn that evil into good. Turn that pain into joy. Turn that depression into do divine destinies in Jesus' name. Somebody say he's turning it out. The scriptures say, for I know. What do you know? The Bible says, according to Daniel's 11:32, those that know their God, may you begin to know God in the beauty of his holiness. May you begin to know God as a good father. 
who gives good gifts. May you begin to know that God will never leave you nor forsake you. Some of you need a new knowledge of who God is. May you get a revelation that he is a good father and he gives good gifts and he's about to turn. When you know that something is about to turn around, it's about to turn out, turn out in your favor, turn out, come on, turn out where People that hated you, despised you, looked down on you. People gave up on you. People look at you even right now and don't believe in you. Somebody got to get this word this morning. It's about to turn out. Ah, somebody say it's turning out. Somebody say I'm coming. She prophesied this. Diana Ross says I'm coming out. You need to say it. I'm coming out. I'm coming out of the pit. I'm coming out of the prison. I'm on my way to the palace. When you got a Abba Nidi Boshanta, when you got a Joseph anointing, you got to go through the pit. You got to go through the come on into the prison. But he says I'm bringing you out. And when you come out, you got to know that you're coming out. But what you know, not but what you under, not what you think you understand, but what you know. Do you know him? Do you know who God is? God is not just something. That will meet your need temporarily. He is Alpha and Omega. <laughs> he is the beginning and the end. And so who is this for? He says, I'm going to turn me out when you know who I am. <laughs> when you know that I'm with you. <laughs> when you know that you've been struggling. You've been falling short. You haven't been what you know you've been called to be. Let me speak to your spirit this morning. There's a call on your life. There's a destiny in your bed. There's an assignment. You've been timid. You've been afraid. You think God can't use you. God can use junk. He would love to take your dirt and grow something out of you. God God has a mission that you must fulfill. You must complete. And we pray that he stirs it up today. Huh? There's a prayer call on your life. There's a preaching call on your life. There's an anointing for a book on your life. I'm not just talking about a book just to write a book, but a book that will change nations, a book that will shift your legacy. Who is this for? There's a ministry inside of you. And it may be to the homeless. Come on, somebody. There's a ministry inside of you. It may be to the prisoners in the name of Jesus. There's a ministry inside of you. It may be to the abuse. So this morning, you got to know, you got to know. See, there's no question. I, Jermaine knows who's, who Jermaine is. When you know, he says, when you know it, Catherine Nicole, when you know what's inside of you, you want nothing won't stop you. <laughs> Hallelujah. This is good this morning. I feel the anointing of God. And we don't just say that. I don't have to get excited about that because it's the anointing that destroys the yokes. And Father, I thank you that you're delivering somebody in their mind right now who didn't think they were good enough, who didn't feel you, who didn't see you in the past five months. God, I thank you. As we wrap up this, I thank you that the next seven days will be a day that you will turn it out. <laughs> and when you turn it out, I thank you that it's coming from the inside because what he's working on the inside, he's about to bring somebody don't realize that the curtain is about to raise on your stage. Lord, I thank you, Father, that you are advancing and you are accelerating and that you are pushing out. God, I thank you this morning. He says, for I know that this will turn out for my deliverance. God, I thank you for deliverance this morning. I thank you, Father God, for delivering us from ourselves, delivering us from fear, delivering us from, Lord God, those things that have held us down. Deliverance is the children's bread. Give us this day our daily bread. Father, deliver us from every form of evil. Deliver us from every form of witchcraft. Father, forgive us for those things that we've used as an alternative to your word. God, forgive us for those things that we've spoken that has been poison and witchcraft. Lord, forgive us for those things that we have rebelled against. Lord, and I pray this morning that you will deliver. He said it will turn out for your deliverance. In the name of Jesus, he said, it will turn out for your deliverance through your prayer. See, sometimes there's, let me say this. I'm confident about one thing, that there is something about prayers that will break and destroy yokes and burdens in your life. And he said, this thing will turn out because of your prayer. Your prayer. I'm not talking about praying like me, but understanding the power of prayer in your life. This is a week. Come on. He said the prayer and supply 
of the spirit of Jesus Christ. There is a supply of Holy Spirit that you can't get enough of. There's a supply of Holy Spirit. You have, haven't even tapped into your life. Let me tell you, we haven't even tapped in. If the fullness of Holy Spirit actually released all of the power in our life, we will explode. And I pray this morning in the name of Jesus. How about that? Bye, bye, bye. E.K. Shante. Renee Rivers. I pray in Jesus name that the supply of the spirit of Jesus Christ will overflow in your life, that it will be upon you, that it will be with you and that it will begin to bring the abundance of Christ in your life like never before. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, Renee Rivers, what the spirit of the Lord has in store for you. So may the un merited unmeasured supply of heaven be released in your life the supply of holy spirit will give you a language for every language the supply of holy spirit will make you all things to all people the supply of holy spirit will give you strength when you are weak supply of holy spirit will give you healing for every dis-ease this is good this morning, Stacey DeBose. This is good. God, I thank you this morning that, Lord, you're giving us a supply of the spirit of Jesus Christ. In verse 20, I'm in the zone this morning. Verse 20 says, according to my earnest expectation. Do you have an expectation this morning? This is a familiar passage, but it's so good. The earnest expectation and hope. I want to encourage you. I want to stir you up this morning. I pray for you to have an earnest. Ex what does that mean? That means it's an expectation that nothing will separate you. Nothing will stop you. Nothing will change your mind. See, you can't convince me that these prayers isn't breaking through in Florida, in Georgia, in California, in the nations, in Africa. These prayers are breaking through in Belize. These prayers are breaking through in your house today. Why? Because they there's an expectation. The Bible says whatsoever you pray, when you believe it shall be done. I believe this morning with you, Annie Matthew. I believe this morning with you, Pam Star. I believe this morning, Nidra, in the name of Jesus. I believe, Subel Habandidi Buha, in the name of Jesus. Come on, the enemy that will come against you, you shall see no more in Jesus' name. May the Lord begin to cancel every diabolical plan that the enemy sent to take you out. Why? Because of your earnest expectation and hope. And may your hope today not be in this broadcast, but may it be in Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, your deliverer. I don't care what people say. I don't battle with what people's ideologies and thoughts about who Jesus is. Long as his blood was red. I don't, as long as he died on the cross, his blood was red and he raised from the dead. That's all that matters today. And that expectation and hope that Jesus saves is real as it is today. It's real yesterday, today, and forever. You got to get that this morning. So may the expectation of Holy Spirit, the expectation of Jesus Christ begin to bring you hope every day of your life. I love the Lord this morning. Listen what he says. He says, According to my earnest expectation, we read in Philippians 1:20, and hope that in nothing I shall be ashamed. Let me say this. If you felt Jonathan White, blessings to you, brother. If you if you felt ashamed, if you felt embarrassed, we declare just say nothing. Nothing this day forth will make you shame. Don't be ashamed of the gospel. Don't be ashamed of who you are. Don't be ashamed of your appearance. You're made in God's image. Don't be ashamed of what you've lost and what you've messed up. Let me tell you this. We cancel every spirit of shame. We cancel every spirit that will try to come against you. Declare and say, I will not be ashamed by what my loved ones do. I will not be ashamed by bad decisions. I will not be ashamed of fear. I will not be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ or oh, you can't convince me in this hour he says this but with all boldness as always as now also Christ will be magnified in my body whether by life or by death come on in Jesus name this is what you manifest manifest the magnification of Jesus Christ that's in you. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. When Jesus Christ is magnified in you, you know, you got to understand what I'm saying. There is something that when the Christ in you is magnified, he is exalted. Come on. There is something that in, in your life. Uh, listen, you're not just passionate, <laughs> 
but you are fervent and you are standing in a place. Listen what it says. Listen what it says. Paul said this to the church of Philippians, verse 21, Philippians 1, 21, for to me to live is Christ and to die is gain. But if I have lived, watch this. If, if I live on in the flesh, this will mean fruit from my labor. Yet what I shall choose, I cannot tell. He said this in verse 23, for I am hard pressed between the two, having a desire to depart and be with Christ, which is far better. Nevertheless, I want you to get this as I wrap this thought up today. This, this is good. Nevertheless, to remain in the flesh is more needful for you. I want to say this to you today. There's a nevertheless in your life that will continually extend your life for what someone needs from your life. Your life has value. It has purpose. And may the nevertheless, nevertheless establish your expectation and hope that will extend your life. Hezekiah's life was extended because of a nevertheless. David defeated the giant because of a nevertheless. I don't know who this is for this morning, but the nevertheless in your life. In the name of Jesus, we cancel it. We thank you, Father God, for the never, for the never, nevertheless. Nevertheless <laughs> is the shifting point of this morning. Nevertheless is the shift of your day. It's the shift of that life. It's the shift of that addiction. <laughs> Jesus, God, I thank you for the nevertheless in every life. That is dealing with addiction in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I got to shut this down. <laughs> My gosh. Father, I thank you this morning. Lord, as we have prayed, as we've even prayed scripture and read scripture, God, I thank you for this revelation moment this morning. There are people that are watching, Father, I thank you that you're bringing them from a place of shame to a place of hope and expectation. And Lord, our expectation is in you. Our expectation is in the truth. For you said we will know the truth and the truth will make us free. God, I thank you for those that are growing spiritually. I thank you for those that are maturing. God, I thank you for somebody's prayer life that is establishing a nevertheless. The nevertheless is what the world calls pivoting. <laughs> Everybody want to pivot, right? You can pivot. The pivot in the scripture is nevertheless. You've been counted out. Some people have walked away from you. Some people have not believed in you. You, you haven't believed in yourself, but nevertheless, the will of God shall be established in your life, Sean. Nevertheless, the will of God will be established in your life. Who is this for today? Father, I thank you for the prayer of deliverance. I thank you that it's turning out for our deliverance. Lord, let this prayer today turn out the good. Lord, I thank you that this prayer today is turning out provision. Let this, let this prayer today turn out a miracle. Lord, I thank you that the miracles that you are establishing today is coming because of what we know of you. See, miracles this is what we know about miracles. It starts with your knowledge of the miracle worker. See, miracles come not by what you know, but who you know. Miracles are birthed in your life, not by what you know, not how to work the miracle, but who is the miracle worker. I, I'm going to end on this thought right here. It is seven a.m. Eastern time. I want to end on this thought right here. Raise your expectation and hope in a deliverance that Jesus Christ has established for you that all things are possible because you believe. And if you believe but need help, like the man said, Lord, I believe, but help my unbelief. May your faith today be lifted May the prayers and the scriptures that we prayed and read today begin to bring a foundation in your life. Lord, we lift up Stacy. Uh, we lift up Lamont's uh, daughter, Stacy. I thank you for her feeling better. Lord, I thank you for 
as she take her final exams today. Lord, I thank you that, Lord, you would cause her to immediately and suddenly recover. Lord, we pray for Mama Billy today. Lord, we lift up. Thank you, Linda. We pray for Thomas Reese today. We pray this morning for Kevin Quinn in Ireland. Lord, we lift up Nancy and Ayana. Lord, we lift up Nicholas this morning. We pray for Carl today. Lord, we lift up Raymond this morning. Hallelujah. We thank you for Raymond's liberty. Lord, we pray for Raymond Gaines, Father, that you will continue to strengthen him today. We lift up Riston, Riston this morning. Lord, we pray this morning for Mayor, Can uh, Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms. God, I thank you for the next season of her life. We thank you, Father, for strengthening her family. Father, we pray this morning uh, for Bishop Glenn and Pauline. Lord God, we pray this morning uh, for... Um for Larry, for RJ, for Anitra Crumley. We pray this morning for James and Joshua. Come on, remembrance. Remembrance. Thank you for, for those that remember. Lord, we pray for Janice and baby London. We pray this morning for Joy, uh, Joyce, Justin Baldwin, Bobby, Sarah. Lord, we pray this morning in Jesus' name. Uh, it's just all the people. Lord, we cover the people. Lord, we pray for Nene, uh, Gregory, Corey. Lord, we pray for Sarah this morning. Justin Baldwin. God, I lift up all of these prayer requests and all of these people today and all of these names. Jovita Moore, Larry Franco. Come on. All of the intercessors remembering the names of the people. We pray this morning. Lord God, for Kevin Smith. Lord, I thank you, Father God. For, for I pray for Kevin Smith this morning. Lord, we send this prayer. We don't know what's going on with Kevin, but God, you do. And so we cover up Kevin Smith this morning. We pray for all of the Kevins today. We pray, God, that you would be with them. Lord, I pray again for Miss Deborah. Lord, I lift up in Jesus name. I just lift up uh, this time and season. I pray this morning, Lord God, for her sons. I pray this morning for her family. I pray this morning in Jesus name. Father God, for everything in Jesus name in her life. Lord, I thank you. Lord, we pray this morning for your peace. We pray this morning for your power. And we pray this morning for your word. Lord, I lift up Don Johnson this morning. Lord, I pray this morning. Uh, Lord, I pray this morning. Uh, for Yolani and Ezekiel. Lord, I thank you this morning. Cover them. Lord, we pray for uh, young Ezekiel. God, I pray for all of the young men in Jesus' name uh, that we know and care for and cover and love in Jesus' name. Father, I pray this morning. Um, There's so many prayer requests. God, I pray for Apostle Ingrid. God, I thank you for strengthening and healing. And Lord, I thank you, Father God, for Lord God, total recovery. Lord, we lift up again Sean this morning, Sean Kofer. Lord, we, pr we pray for Michael and Sean Martin. Lord, we pray for Pastor Stefan. We pray for the DeBose family. We pray for Lord God, Nidra and her family. Lord, we lift up this morning, Lori and her family. God, I thank you. Lord, we lift up Apostle uh, um, Joseph Davis this morning. Lord, we lift him up in Jesus name. God, I pray for those in Tallahassee, those in Jacksonville, in Miami. Lord, we just lift up every city and every region. I pray um, for Timothy this morning. God, I thank you for all of these requests today. Um, in Jesus name. I know I'm sorry I'm not looking at the camera, but when I'm looking at the different devices, we pray for Rashida this morning. We pray for Lee Walker. We pray for Miss Irma. Lord, we lift up their family. We pray for uh, Jackie this morning. God, we lift up those in Philly uh, this morning. Veronica and her family. God, I thank you. Lord, I, again, I pray for uh, Trinity and Miss Valerie. Lord, I lift up their family. And Lord God, her grandchildren and children. Lord, I thank you today uh, for all of these requests. I got to I got to decrease because I, I, I could keep praying. Look, we love the Lord and we love you, Father. I thank you that as we transition and move into our day that you are with your people. Father, we pray over this broadcast. We pray over this environment that as we stand in the gap and pray, Lord, I thank you that you are a God who hears and answers. Lord, nothing is too hard for you. Lord, I thank you, Father, that as you have loaded us today. With the benefits of blessings, we walk in that and we walk and we stand in it that, Lord, you will see you would you will cause us to see fruit from this day. Lord, let your word be established. Lord, we pray for Sophia's uh, parents, her brother, entire family. We pray again for Timothy. We pray for Nigel as they drive. We pray for Selena in Jesus name. <laughs> Thank you, Selena. I'm happy to be back. Thank you, Father, for 
Again, heaven's appeal. And we thank you for uh, this opportunity to be. Thank you for the opportunity to be on YouTube and Facebook uh, in this digital uh, uh, morning times of uh, celebration in the morning. And so, Father, uh, Lord, let the word uh, continue to have its way in this day as people are listening from all over the world, as people are listening, those that we know and those that we're getting to know. We thank you, Father, uh, for expanding the influence of this broadcast. In Jesus name, we pray. Amen and amen. If you haven't gone to YouTube, just become a super subscriber. We need about 300 people to hit a thousand. I, I hadn't been really pushing, trying to hit a thousand. I was before, but, uh, you know, if you didn't know, uh, our YouTube channel was banned uh, for about 48 hours for some unapparent reason. Um, but we just did an appeal and uh, they brought it back up at 12. And uh, we got, again, 900 plus videos on YouTube that uh, we realized we've been doing this a while. And uh, we thank God. And again, not so much for you uh, to just like and just to grow the channel. But I mean, it helps expose it to other people we help there are people that i've met um because they tune into youtube and have been blessed again we get testimonies we get encouragement you know when somebody so a seed and they say they've grown from the channel uh we thank we thank god for that opportunity we're just here to help you jump start your day but most of all thank you so much brother ando anderson i appreciate you i thank you and you told me I'm going to just highlight you because I just appreciate when the brothers are on. Right. I appreciate. I appreciate you, brother. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. A salute and honor to the brethren. Right. I, that's what I'm talking about. See, this is why we do this. When when let me go over here. <laughs> when, when we have brothers that 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 are tuning in, that's all we need. I'm not looking for. That's a great seed, brother. I appreciate that. We highlight that because when we have kings that come on and say, brother, I'm, I like what you're doing. I support. That's all it is. If we get a thousand, praise the Lord. If we don't, we got one brother. That say, I, This is why we do this. <laughs> yes. It's one. Cause I believe we're called to impact the one who impacts many. See, we know our mission. So we thank you so much. Uh, Thank you for kings. Thank you so much for queens. Thank you so much for great men and women. Thank you so much uh, in Ghana, Apostle George, Pastor Rue. I'm so excited about the revival meetings um, that you're having. Uh, I'm telling you, Sean, salute to you, brother. Uh, so we thank you uh, for, for them tuning in. Uh, let me tell you, y'all don't know if you don't know them, but they tune in with me almost e every time live. Uh, they're in Ghana. They're in a different time zone. But these people love the Lord. They are God's people. They are doing a great work in Ghana. We don't we don't I didn't meet them online. I know them personally. And uh, we thank God for what God is doing in their life in Ghana as we pray for them. And we see your mama, Billy. We praying for your strength. We praying for your healing. We praying for just total recovery in your body today in Jesus name. Blessings to you, Mary. Praying with you, praying for you. But uh, we thank you. Apostle George and Pastor Ruth, keep praying. We're praying revival will break out in your region in a great way. And that God is using you to plow and to penetrate the darkness. The gates of hell must back up uh, in your region because of the apostolic mandate that is on your ministry and on your life. And so we agree again from Georgia to Ghana. We agree that the power of God will continue to save, to deliver. I love seeing the people uh, moving around. I love seeing Again, uh, you you leading the people into a breakthrough prayer and a breakthrough power. And so I thank God for y'all. If y'all, uh, if you see them, if you uh, want to follow them, follow them and support. These are these are people. K P G. Let me say. Let me post it. Yeah, follow. This is a great ministry. Can't wait to get to Ghana. And uh, but we pray um, that God will increase in your life and in your ministry. Uh, again, let me get out of here. I love y'all. We thank God for you. We thank God for uh, this opportunity to pray with you. I am humbled and honored to stand in the gap for you. So we seal this day. We seal this time of prayer. 
with the blood of Jesus Christ. And as always, your giants are defeated. Your Red Seas are open and your Jericho. Y'all have a magnificent Monday. Be safe, be wise, and make sure you know who you know, because those that know their God will do great exploits. Y'all have a blessed, powerful day, and we will see you tomorrow morning. Uh, Lord's willing, 6 a.m. Eastern time. And pray for me as I continue to pray for you.